emotion comes and you watch the turbulent movement perhaps of that emotion, anger or sadness or fear, quivering. And you, uh, what do you do with that emotion, the movement of emotion? It is as it is. And you allow it to be, which means there's no self in that anymore. And you realize emotions are human emotions, not really personal. Fear, anger, anxiety, sadness, they are all ultimately non-personal, not me, human human emotions, human feelings. So the self goes out of that as you simply allow the emotion to be as it is and suddenly around that movement of the emotion there is a spaciousness through the allowing. It is being, it is, in other words, when you allow what is to be, you become aware of the depth of now. And you realize the now is not what happens, but the field or the space in which it happens. And that doesn't ever changes. And you can verify this in your own life the one thing that whatever happened to you, and whatever can happen to you, one thing is for certain, it was now and it will be now. Nothing can happen to you. So the one thing that remains forever, it's always now, the field of now. So the field of now is one with the essence of your being and you can sense and know it directly, not in a subject-object relationship, but it knows itself. You sense what that means, the depth of now, the space of now, the field of now. And there's the event, and there's the depth of the, the field of now.